So hi guys, today we're here at the um, press con for the uh, special screening for martyr or murder here in Cebu. So we expect Senator Aimee Marcos to be here as well as some of the lead cast like um, Rufa Gutierrez and Cesar Montano you know, to come and you know, talk and including director Darryl Lea by the way and to talk about the movie and you know invite Cebuanos to watch the sequel of the Made in Malacanã movie. So, in a bit, we'll meet the stars who are, uh, you know, headlining this uh, movie, Martyr or Murder. There was there re really a restraining order to for the film to be uh, to be shown. Um, uh, as of now, it's not surface, but uh, there are a lot of uh, you know messages uh, with such. Pero hindi ko naman mo confirm unless may papel na. So I don't know, but there are uh, I don't know if meron tapos biglang di natin I I'm not aware. But there are but there are rumors na meron. Yeah. I, I don't know. A lot, a, lot, a lot of messages really reached me, but uh, you know, uh, you can you can uh, you can actually have have hints because uh, for for some places in the Philippines we we are not allowed to post tarpaulins, billboards. So I I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to start. You know, I'm steering any uh, gossip or rumor, but. Some provinces, uh, we don't see our tarpaulins and billboards. I have not seen tarpaulins and billboards here in Cebu province just yet, but uh, I will try to uh, look for it. But in SMCT Cebu, naman, SM has always been very supportive. So I, I don't know, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, messages, ma'am. But uh, you know, a paper has not surfaced yet. Thank you. We have tarpaulin downtown. Direct. In downtown. Yes, in downtown okay. we have. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Moore. Next, we have Carlo Olano of Kalami Cebu YouTube channel. Um, good afternoon, po. Um, I, Derek Darrell. So, you shot the first movie one week ago, uh, and you made um, over 130 million. So, this, this movie, what was your biggest challenge, you po, and you know, how did you overcome it? Uh, the first movie made 800, 800 million, million. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> so ngayon, um, it was one. It was shot one week, but this one, naman, we had uh, we had the luxury of preparation, not only budget, because you know in film production, uh, budget can only go so far. It's uh, you know the preparation pa din. but of course my actors and my actresses only received the script like. Five days, four days before the shoot, because uh, it's it's how I work. But uh, uh, I don't think meron kaming uh, pagkakaiba sa unang shoot. Maliban na lang sa, yun nga, medyo mas malawak ang scope, ang story. Uh, and first and foremost, uh, meron kaming international uh, location. So, so siguro yun, yun yung parang pinakatid. Yes, uh, we have a uh, 4,000 people crowd in uh, as crowd sa uh, Ilocos North. So, ayun, very supportive ang uh, kanilang mga Thank you. Thank you. Sir Carlo, next, let call on Glyph William Moore from Cebu Blogger Society. Glyph? Good afternoon. So, I'm Glyph from Glitter's Escapade from Cebu Bloggers. So any one of you can answer. Um, my question is, is there any specific or major message that you want to convey uh, to the people or to the Cebuanos in this movie? Uh, actually, I, uh, I'm not in the business of uh, convincing or changing people's minds. Uh, we're just telling the story. Ang nangyari, the first uh, movie, the Made in Malacanang was um, well, to be all, uh, to be honest, it was sort of a lark. Naglulokohan lang kami nun. 
dahil uh, pumasok kami nung online, umabot ng 130 million views yung uh, 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 Legend Chronicles ni Daryl. And then we said, oh, ano, papabayaan ba yan? No, 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 we can't. They have to watch something. Let's make a movie. Ayun. And that became Made in Malacanang, which was the last 36 hours in the palace before my family left the country. And uh, sa awan ng Diyos, it was uh, very well uh, received. And uh, the question then arose, what happened to the family after you left Malacanang and the Philippines? So this is actually a simple narrative of what occurred that uh, ended up being rather complicated because napatpat kami kung saan saan. So in the process of exile, maraming flashback. So the movie is maybe a little bit confusing if you don't follow dahil very mag timelines. Uh, during exile, it has to be said um, that you acquire 2020 vision. You suddenly have perspective and distance from all the events that took place, and uh, a better time to reflect and uh, learn, ideally, lessons from all that the past. So, yun lang, kwento nung ano nangyari. But the writers actually died. Uh, um, I don't want to be political with the message anymore because you know the clearest message is that 31 million voted for for Marcos, so I think that's a clear message. But you know the non-political message would be Philippine cinema is not dead. Um, given the right story, you know uh, we have uh, we have exquisite actors and actresses, intelligent actors and actresses. The guy named Miss Rufa, Sir Cesar, and Jerome. Uh, from different generations, and uh, it's not true that um, Philipp Philippine cinema is in a comatose because of uh, uh, the COVID and all uh, the economic issue. Maybe Martyr or Murderer is a proof that uh, a Philippine movie, even without festivals, can actually get audience if you give a right, uh, the right script, the right direction, getting the right actors and actresses, and uh, Yes, and we opened for 280 cinemas. So I guess that's a clear message that uh, if you give Filipino people quality movie, they will give you uh, a warm uh, rejoinder. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now let's move on to Benji Talisik of XFM Cebu 88.3. Sir Benji? Controversial thing to Sir Benji. Very trending here. Yeah. I love that. I'm happy with you. 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 I'm and uh, mas maganda pa at exciting as uh, for the next that movie after this no? <laughs> it's a trilogy sir so uh, there's the third one which is mabuhay aloha mabuhay that will be shot on june and will be released on september we haven't uh, sat down yet di pa kami nag uh, uusap kung anong magiging uh, buong uh, plot but we have our actors, some of the actors and actresses casted for very vital roles. Pero hindi pa po kami nag-uusap kasi nagbebenta pa po kami ng pangalawa. So, nahihirapan pa po kami bumuo ng pangatlo. With, uh, with of course, this uh, overwhelming response from uh, our kababayans here and abroad. The third one will be, uh, you know, I don't want to say as controversial, but uh, I, want it, I want it to be... Uh, as ano, uh, sabi nga nila eh, <laughs> sige na nga, controversial. So, nag-iisip pa ako ng ibang, of course, with Mabuhay, alo nga Mabuhay, it will tackle the timeline of 2016 and 2022 elections. So, we have characters there like uh, the Duterte family, uh, then Vice President Lenny Robredo, and a lot of other uh, politicians who played uh, meaningful parts in those two elections. So I guess it's going to be a very happy movie. <laughs> it was right after election, so it was very um, busy and, you know, um, 
I guess, controversial time. Maiinit pa yung dugo ng mga tao noon. And kami naman, nung in-offer sa akin, ako, especially si Madam Imelda, I was like, wow, you know? So, I think from then, hanggang ngayon, yung journey nag-iba. Kasi ngayon, I'm so comfortable na with my director, Direct Daryl. Noong araw, narinig ko lang siya na this really young, brilliant director na mataray. Buti na lang mataray ang mami ko at mataray people love me. So, he loves me, di ba? Si Senator Raimi, sinasabi nila intelihet ng, ano, medyo mataray din, pero may puso. I think she loves me also, Senator Raimi. So, I think, I think now we're more comfortable and, uh, you know, we were able to bring whatever it is that we gave during MIM to MOM. So, um, excited ako at sana hindi pa ako patayin ni Direct Daryl. So, kasama pa ako sa trilogy. Sa end. Sa Mabuhay, Aloha, Mabuhay. Pero buhay ko si Madam Imelda. So, dapat hindi pa ako patayin. Thank you, Ms. Luka. Thank you very much, Ms. Vanessa. Anything more? Ah, Jerk. Sir Cesar. Hi, Ms. Vanessa. Thank you for your question. Yeah, um, <clears throat> for me, it was really uh, quite a challenge. Uh, your first one, you made it Malacanang. Uh, <clears throat> attacking the role uh, took me a lot of uh, uh, decisions to make, what panel to go So I talked to uh, uh, the the hairdresser, the makeup artist, how do we go about it? Paano? Kasi ako, wala akong makita kung ano. Then, maiksi yung buho ko noon. And uh, we're just given, ang galing talaga mong challenge sa itong director natin. Napakagaling eh. Talaga. But I want to comment him dito sa script na mom, yung martyr or the rest. Ang napakaganda pong script, napakaganda ang kwento. And uh, I don't know how, how we do it na Trilogy. Ah, mayroon po gumawa ng ganito ah, na hindi interesting yung next ah. Eh, nagpanood po namin, nasahin ko pa, paano na naman niya paiiyakin ang audience sa second? Naka, eh, nag-premier po kami. Eh, eh, na, 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 paiiyak niya ako sa opisya lang. Pa, pa, hindi na lang ako tumingin. Naiiyak na naman ako sa... Kaiikula ko na, naiiyak pa ako eh. It's very effective. It's, eh, magaling po yung uh, pagkaka-execute ng uh, transition ng bawat scene. But doon sa pag, <clears throat> sa, exe, sa mga eksena ako naman, and dying na nga po na ako ito, sabi ni Ma, the first lady ko, na sobrang lungkot po habang ako ay uh, namamatay, nakadiin po siya sa dibdib ko. Hindi ko malam ko pa paano acting gagawin ko, ganda yung rapat ako mamatay. <laughs> nakadiin. Kung mabang umiiyak siya, sir, nakadiin na ka, ah, dinitiin na lang yung dibdib ko, talagang parang mamamatay ako talaga. <laughs> Eh, eh, chef, pero kaya lang eh, acting ko talaga. <laughs> Ang hero, it took, uh, challenge sa akin yun. But, um, uh, yung, mas madali sa akin para dito dahil uh, I had a little uh, study uh, I, uh, na ginawa ko doon sa first one. So, parang yun na yung initial kong uh, uh, tawag dito, research na nagawa. So dito medyo alam ko na kung saan papunta yung 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 yung, yung ano yung character ko ma'am. So yun po. Oh the preparation. Well, syempre malayo naman na uh, regarding your question dun sa sila from him. Uh nagkaroon sila a lot of time pero tama naman yung sabi ni Direk. Uh, a couple of days lang before binigay yung script. But may idea na nasinabi sa akin na I was playing young Ninoy. Then, sobrang limited lang from like, uh, so, sa internet, sa YouTube, na saan ako makakakuha ng resources para makita at mabuo yung nuances, um, ugali ni Ninoy. Until then, uh, nasa set na ako, the way he talks, uh, sa tulong ni Direk Dalil, doon, nabuo namin yung karakter ni Young Minoy. At syempre, isang malaking bagay din yung si Yorme. Dahil kailangan mo rin kahit pa paano i-align yung 
characters nyo pareho dahil hindi naman malaking pagkakaiba yung bilang Ninoy at yung young Ninoy. So, yun. Yun siya. Yun yung preparation, preparation ko. Myself. So, yun po. <laughs>